Hello, this is Dr. Micah Jazz with Be Still and Know. Last year I decided to train for my Trinity Certificate in TESOL, or Teaching English to Speakers of Other Languages. I wanted to have something in hand that I might trade with as I grew older, something that would also be recognised internationally and enable me to live outside the UK if that was ever necessary. It was also a deepening response to my call to walk the way of a contemplative. God does not expect his people to live off charity but to position themselves to be able to meet their own immediate needs. These needs are relatively limited for me, food to eat, household bills to pay and some transport costs. Living on the edge of Southampton, there were many foreign language speakers and tutoring was something I could arrange around the daily prayer rhythm of the oratory. Well, it was a full-time course run over the month of November. The workload was intense. We had been forewarned at our interview and it took all my skills to endure it to the end. One thing I felt was important was not to aspire to top grades, a struggle given my academic makeup. I soon realised why. Since I needed to maintain my role within the oratory and keep up my prayer disciplines, pursuit of grades would most surely have robbed me of my primary purpose of adding a means of gainful employment to help sustain the oratory's life. I successfully completed the course and now teach. In determining if I should train, I had to consider the value of the course to what God wanted for the oratory and my life of prayer. I had to recognise that life would be disturbed by both the training and then the reception and teaching of students. I confess that I was fairly comfortable with my life and so to interrupt that rhythm was going to prove personally painful. It was a part of the pruning process. It was not that I was fruitless in the retreats and personal interactions I was already having, yet God wanted to prune me that I might be even more fruitful. One new shoot took me to volunteer at a local asylum centre where I'm able to teach English to those arriving in the UK with nothing and from war-torn and desperate circumstances. A fresh opportunity to express the hospitality and hope, two of the three purposes that form the oratory's heart. It's early days at present, yet I discovered I was able to maintain my peace and rest in God throughout the month's intensive training, that I loved meeting and engaging with language learners, and I ensured that I maintained an outward focus to our oratory's life of prayer. The branches that God had already cultivated were pruned hard so that they might become even more fruitful. It's with great excitement I look to all that lies ahead and all that I will learn by the grace of God. As we enter into the God space today, never be afraid to reach out for fresh opportunities in God. Also, don't let age or society's perspective on age hold you back. Amen. Obviously, since my primary purpose is to pray, I must manage my time carefully. Yet, I love the fact that God's grace is new every morning. Please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope and follow along with these daily meditations at home. And join me this Sunday for Premier Life as well as for Be Still and Know throughout the week. But for now, from me, Micah Jazz, it's goodbye and God bless. <music>